After four years, we have another release of the Ugly Duckling pack. Today's video, we have the Nike Dunk Low SP and the colorway veneer. These did technically first come out back in 2001, but they were only exclusively in Japan. So the wider release of these was back in 2020. And back then, the sneaker market was completely different to what it was now. It was booming back then. I remember back in 2020 when these dropped, I actually missed out on these and I was so gutted, but I wasn't that gutted enough to pay recent sell for them because resale was going for hundreds and hundreds of pounds more. I actually did take a look at some retailers before these dropped out and they're still selling for about 300, 400 pounds, which is absolutely crazy. So for these to be re-released and an opportunity to pick them up in retail and in a completely different sneaker industry market now is absolutely amazing. However, even though the sneaker industry is different, I don't expect these to sit and for anyone to just pick them up. So if you are are looking to pick them up you still got to be on your toes to snap them up the ugly duckling pack is made up of three different pairs three different colorways we have the ceramic we have the plum and in today's video we have the veneer pair which i have recently just picked up in my opinion this is definitely the best colorway out of all of them i know the ceramics and plums are also really really popular as well the idea behind this pack is in the name ugly duckling they're supposed to be the ugly kind of sneakers out of the lot so you've got these really unusual ugly colors i mean if you want to call it ugly colors that are put together that you wouldn't usually put together to create an ugly sneaker but they are actually one well they were one of the most hyped sneakers um so they're so ugly they kind of just works this is the standard night dunk low silhouette however as it is an sp we do have some extra different features which we will take a closer look into these are very eye-catching sneakers whether you want to call them ugly eye-catching sneakers or not that is up to you but we do have the brown purple and the green these instantly aren't colors that i would put together but for me on this pack they do work strangely one of the main features that is different about this night dunk low is the premium suede on the upper it does feel so good in hand it feels absolutely luxurious we do have a standard tongue i would have loved to see a thicker padded tongue i was kind of expecting that but then again we have to remind ourselves that this isn't an sb dunk for the tongue and also around the collar towards the back, we have this hard mesh material. This is that kind of scratchy when you put your fingernail on it, it makes that scratchy kind of noise. As for the tongue, we do have the tongue tag with the Nike swoosh logo and we have this in the green and purple. On the back of this dunk, we have the opposite colorway. So we have the purple and instead we have the green embroidery for the Nike logo. Another feature is we have the padded ankles, which is amazing. I absolutely love this. It's definitely going to give some extra comfortability. Inside the shoe, we actually have this kind of lime green sock lining it definitely reminds me of the shrek kind of green ogre kind of color that's instantly what i thought of when i saw this and it is completely different to the rest of the shoe because it is more kind of neon and in your face however you know you're not going to see much of it when you put your foot into it as for the midsole we have a plain white midsole and then we have a purple outsole to finish it off for the laces we do get given a pair that comes already pre-laced and this is in the color purple i was quite surprised to see that we didn't get any second pair of laces to put on with these i thought because it's not a normal standard night dunk low they might treat us to another pair i don't know maybe in this lime green color but we do just get one standard pair in the purple following on from that you do get the standard night dunk low red and white box it would have been really cool if they did something different with this because it is an ugly duckling pack i could have done some really creative design as i mentioned these did come out four years ago so we have a 2020 release and we also have this which is the 2020 24 release i did not pick up the 2020 pair release however i have read online that there are maybe some few differences between the two but nothing really major i have read that the shades are a tiny bit darker in the 2024 pair and i mean there could be so many reasons for this a different supplier or the supplier is using some different materials i mean it has been four years so there is going to be some change also seen that the mesh tongue is a lot more modern in the 2024 pair but i'll let you guys be the judge of that Don't 
dunks in general are a decent comfortability. I would say that these are a tiny bit more comfortable than the normal standard dunks because they do have that padded collar. However, I wouldn't go as far as saying they're as comfortable as the Nike Dunk Low SB because obviously the SB is practically padded out everywhere. So I would say that these are comfortable, a little bit more comfortable than a normal standard Nike Dunks, but not as comfortable as a Nike Dunk SB. Sizing for these, I do not notice a difference at all. So I would recommend going true to size or whatever you get in normal Nike Dunk Lows. This re-release is amazing for anyone that missed out in 2020 and now has the opportunity to pick them up. And because the sneaker industry is different, I do think that these are going to be so much easier to pick up for retail. Also for people that have potentially already picked up one of the other colorways and want to complete the pack as well. I have seen rumors that the Plum is going to be re-released. I haven't seen anything yet in the ceramic, but I do believe that that is also going to be on the cards, but I feel like it will just be staggered throughout 2024. So if you're not feeling the colorway of the veneers, you can always keep a lookout for the other two colorways and make sure you are subscribed to my channel to stay updated. Personally, for me, this is my favorite pair out of the pack. I'm absolutely in love with this colorway. And do you know why I love this colorway more than what I did in 2020? Because nowadays in 2024, everyone has got a pair of dunks. They are oversaturated. You can get so many different colorways. They're kind of known as, I guess, a basic shoe. And what I love about these is they kind of reignite that passion that I have for Nike Dunks. I was getting a bit tired of them. The colorways are a bit boring. Whereas these are something different. The colorway is so different. So now when I'm looking for a pair of Dunks, I am looking for something that is more unique, more eye-catching, something that is gonna stand out. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are saying, and especially if you are waiting on any of the colorways in the Ugly Duckling pack. Thank you guys as always for tuning in today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one.